Yeah, perfect. Uh, good evening, coaches. Thanks for coming out tonight. And please excuse my coach's voice. Uh, I only had a game last night. So uh, I, I can't thank you enough for investing the time to come out here and then grab your pens and papers and sit in six degree weather in a basketball stadium um, on a Sunday night when you could be watching home and away. Uh, to, to get better as basketball coaches. Uh, this stuff is absolutely magical. And there's only so many videos on YouTube you can watch, and this is getting recorded, uh, but there's such a different feel to watching it live emotionally uh, that, that you can see the, facilita the facilitator take the athletes through. So the athletes are ready, and, and the two topics I'm gonna present on is building a half-court offense and uh, teaching screens. And I've got a little bit, I've got a lot more juice about uh, teaching in a half court offense first. So I'm gonna present that in the 45 minutes. But, but a rule, a rule about these clinics, if you have any questions and you're curious right then in the moment, please interrupt me. Please interrupt me, because that way I can explain something if we need to unpack something. Or if you see an adjustment or, or you want to mention something, uh, please, by all means. But every now and again, I'll throw you a question and then you can write something down, because my goal is to just get you guys to think, all right? So uh, with half-court offense, my biggest goal is, number one, who are the athletes and why are these, why are these athletes playing basketball? For example, if I had an under 12 girls basketball team, I need to understand that the parents are the ones paying the association to play basketball. So they're kind of my boss, kind of. And I'm a volunteer coach. Now that doesn't mean they get to write up my job description. All right, what that means, it's, it's not fair for kids to come in that parents pay for, and then for me to abuse the hell out of them, and then the kids walk out in tears. So I've got to try and find solutions about all right, what kind of offense can I put in and why are they playing basketball, especially at a representative level at under 12s, uh, and what can I implement to, to maximize the experience for each individual athlete? Because at the end of the day, it's athlete-centered, uh, athlete centered, coach-led, uh, and administration-supported. So we've got to keep the athletes at the forefront of our minds as we do this. All right, the, the offense I'm gonna implement in this half hour is just a five out pass and cut. So it's not gonna be uh, very complicated, but I'm gonna teach it through the whole part, whole method. And the reason I wanna show you a five out motion offense, cause it's one of the most common junior offenses that you will see representative coaches teach throughout the country. And it is so positive, cause not only is it a motion offense, uh, a motion offense basically is defined by itself. The ball is in constant motion and people are in constant motion. It's organized chaos and it's not a set play. So it can go in any direction at any time, but there are rules depicted by the defense then that individual reacts to. And I'll show you these rules as I get the athletes out on the floor. Now, the biggest pros about motion offense is that it teaches kids to play because the defense is always wrong. Whatever the defense does, there's always a counter and the kids have to learn it. Now, the con to motion offense is it takes time to teach and it takes time for kids to learn. And a very interesting journey that I took as a coach even this year. I've been trying to preach motion offense for as long as I can. And I even tried to teach my own representative team, an NBL one team, motion offense at the beginning of the season. It didn't work for six weeks. And we got to round three and were zero and three. So we made the decision after round three, we can't do motion, motion offense anymore because we only train twice a week. If you wanted it to succeed, you nearly need to train every day or maybe four to five times a week. That way there are repetitions, you can break stuff down and kids can get common looks out of what defense does in particular situations. Now, you could get away with five out motion because it's easy to pick up, but don't expect to get wins right away. But that's not the point. The point is to help them learn the game uh, by using an offense that spreads the defense and gets them to read the defense while facing the ring. But we still have opportunities for post feeds and I'll show you that as we progress. Uh, the way I'm going to show you is through the whole part whole method. It is not the only way to teach. The whole part whole method, if you think about it like a Lego box, you get a Lego, you get a Lego box, give it to your 12 year old or even your 35 year old, whoever likes Lego, right? No judging. Uh, 
You see on the front of the box what it's supposed to look like. That's the whole method. Then you take all the ingredients out. So you have all these pieces and they're all color coordinated. It's very organized. And then you've just got to construct it piece by piece. And then hopefully by the end, you have it whole again and then you can play with it in action. So an example, when I show the kids, I'm gonna show them as a whole what five out is supposed to look like on air. And then we will slowly add in defense and then I'll break it down as the session goes on. All right, then my goal with the second part of the whole method is to make sure they can execute it under increased pressure, increased emotional pressure, increased situational pressure, time and score, increased uh, pressure if there was extra defense. So I'm trying to get this Lego box, show them what it looks like, develop the pieces through a season, and then hopefully if we're still contending for the playoffs, we can then uh, ramp up the scenario coaching to get them to execute under the maximum amount of pressure. All right, now these kids are already warm coaches. So uh, girls, can I please have five of you outside this three point line, please? Five, four, three with a basketball. Two, <clears throat> one, all right. Now with the whole part, whole method, a couple things that we have to clarify. Uh, let's pretend this is my very first Queen BN Road Runners representative team. Woo! I have the under 14 girls here. Absolutely, I oh, know you're under 16s. Ha ha, good joke, Jared. Uh, I have an under 16 girls group here and they have no idea what my language is. So I need to teach them the spots. Now, these girls are obviously basketball educated. They know where to stand in five out motion offense. Girls, come stand over here. Let's pretend you didn't know anything about basketball. All right. Now, we have the three point line. We need to put a player here right in front of the rim, outside the three, that is called the point position. What's it called, boys and girls? All right, so just doing an echo to make sure that they heard me. They don't need to understand me, but at least I understand that they did hear me. So you can stand here, Rhiannon. Rhiannon? Oh yeah. All right, uh, Charlotte. Uh, this is, what, what's this called, future superstars? All right, so the free throw line extends outside the three point line, and this is called the? What's another name for the wing? The 45, excellent. So Charlotte will be in that wing. What's your name? Amber, can you go stand on that wing, please? And then what's your name? Tara? Tara, can you please go stand in the corner outside the three-point line? And just, what's your name? Poppy? Can you please pop yourself over there, Poppy? Quickly, quickly. All right. Now, uh, just a quick rule for the future superstars sitting to the side and the athletes here. Whenever we go from drill to drill, I expect you to be urgent and I expect you to sprint there because basketball's played in sprints, not dawdling, all right? So when I ask you to do something, you sprint there as quick as lightning. All right, so here are the spots, the point, the wings, the corners. All we're gonna do is a five out pass, cut, replace motion offense. Without dribbling the ball, Rhiannon, pass to either Amber or Charlotte, action. Now, after that, you're gonna to cut towards the rim. Now, while you're doing that, your catch, in order of priority, is to square up, look at the rim, and you're gonna think, shoot it, pass it, dribble it. Now, when we talk about shoot it, what would it look like in order for you to say, yes, I can shoot the basketball? Wide open. Is this a good shot, Charlotte? No. Boo, sub, all right? Is this a good shot, Charlotte? Why? Good girl. Now, let's think about pass it, number two. Between one, two, three, and four, who would be the biggest priority to pass to next? Have a think and answer. Wait, hold up. Yeah, I'm waiting and I'm holding up. Here we go. <laughs> You're on the clock, Charlotte. Let's go. Oh, no. Who's closest to the ring? Oh, me, yeah. Yeah, so she would be priority, right? Yeah. So who would be second priority if you can't pass it to Ree? To me? No. Oh. Yeah, excellent. Good girl. Why is that? <laughs> yeah, well, she's closest. Closest to relieve pressure. All right, and then the next might be Amber because Amber would, re re would be replacing the space and then Poppy would pop herself up, all right? Now, let's pretend you can't pass it. She's denied, she's denied. Then your last option is what, do you remember? 
Yeah, dribble it, because you've got to put pressure on the defense. All right, so let's, for example, say you dribbled inside the key. Go, boom, 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 then find a teammate. You can replace space, Tara, and then you can exit out to space. Excellent. All right, now you girls, all I want you to do, just pass, cut, replace, pass, cut, replace, ball doesn't hit the ground, and freeze when I say freeze. Action. Pass, cut, replace, pass, cut, replace, pass, cut, replace, and freeze. All right, trivia time. Poppy, you're on the hot seat. Are you ready? In order of priority, and you, when you catch the ball, what's the first three things you should be thinking about in order? <gasps> uh huh, bingo. Yeah. Yeah. And? Good girl. And then number three? Yes, drive and dribble. Do you have your L's? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So you can legally drive. Fantastic. All right, now replace this spot, please, Pop. Amber and uh, Rhiannon over there. Five boys, can you get to five out spots over there? Quickly, hustle. Five, four, three, get a basketball, two. All right, so I would do a drill like this in preseason and it would be chaotic, but there's no defense. Now, the way I would do this, let's pretend I have a team of 10 and I've got a whole court. In some scenarios, I might, not, I might have a half court, but when in Rome, all right? So when I say go, both teams, you're gonna go five out, pass and cut at your rings. First team to 15 passes, then after 15 passes, you bucket. First team to get that gets the point. Ready, set, go. Quick. Freeze, freeze. Boys, how many passes was that? 14? Aha. Uh -huh. Coaches, did anyone see what was compromised when I put a score on it? What do you mean, coach? Yeah. They passed it because the rule was first team to 15. So the first thing that went out the window was I'm not going to bother looking at the rim. I'm just going to pass it because that is how I got the point. All right. Now, this time when we go, you're going to get uh, five quality pass and cuts, catch, shoot it, pass it, dribble it, move yourself. And then once you get a bucket, you're going to dribble down the other end and then continue. All right, boys, you'll go there, come here. Girls, you go here, five, then down the other end. Every catch, eyes on the rim first, look at the cutter. Ready, set, go. Good, look at the cutter, Rhiannon. Look at the cutter. Ring, Amber, ring. Ring, Rhiannon. Ring, oh, Poppy. Look, shoot it. Dribble down the other end, continue. Good, look at the rim, look at the rim, think shot. Yeah, good, good, good boy. Good, good, excellent, finish. And freeze, freeze. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now this time, this time, what's going to happen, we're gonna end up with a little uh, five on five down here, five on five, but I'm gonna extract two people when I say go, girls, you're gonna go five pass and cuts, bucket. Boys, you're gonna go five pass and cut, buckets. You're gonna switch ends, do the same thing. Then the boys, once they finish, they're gonna come down here and then play five on three against the girls. Girls, the three that will be the remaining will be the girls that doesn't shoot it and the last passer would be out. Now the coaches, the reason I do that I'm subtracting defense to make the looks easier. Then when the boys come back down, their five out motion offense will be easier to read. All right, this would be a preseason drill. Ready, five out. Pa you know what, let's walk through it, all right? I'll guide you through it. So you girls just go five out, pass and cut. And then by the time you come down here, I'll let you know who's out. Ready, set, go. Ring, cutter. 
Dribble, ring, look at the cutter. Good, ring, look at the cutter, excellent, good boy. Ring, good. Five passing cuts, then score it, dribble down the other end, go girls, go. Good, ring Poppy. Ring Amber, ring Amber. Ring Rhiannon, good, good, excellent. Ring, cutter, good, and now shoot her passes out. You three, defend the boys. The other three, defend the boys. Now boys, five on three, five on three. Five on three, try your best girls. Good, five on three, figure it out. And rebound girls, don't just watch it. Freeze, the three girls beat the five boys. Well done girls, well done. Yeah, look at that power, all right. So that's an example, that's an example. So the five out on air, they wouldn't pick it up so easily if this was an under 12 girls team because they've never seen it before. But thankfully these boys and girls have seen it before so they're conceptually aware, all right? Uh, that's, now the reason I have five and five and they exchange spots is so that there's a little bit of chaos in the middle and then they can muddle their heads and get to their spots then get into the motion offense and continue. And like I said, I subtracted defense to make the reads easier. And the boys were just unlucky to not make a bucket. So that is a way, a couple drills, I can show it as a whole in preseason. And then week and week and week on repetition. And then before round one starts, then that's when I can begin to break down the skills. All right. So uh, we're going to get into some uh, skill work. You three boys and you two girls, hop up. Everyone, come stand behind me, face this ring. Five, four, urgently. Basketball's playing sprints. What was that? Uh, eventually, yeah, eventually. So what we're, how we're gonna break this down, coaches? Uh, we are going to uh, break it down into one-on-ones first. One-on-ones first. The first one-on-one -on -one we're gonna play is called seal one-on-one, -on -one. all right? Not or, or seal, but seal position. Uh, underneath the rim, okay? Now, the way we're gonna play this, can you please get into a group of three? Go. Five, four, three. You can make a group of four, Rhiannon, that's right. That's fine. Uh, you can make a four, and then you can make a four. Now, every group needs one ball in your group of four. Go. Is that a seven or a six? All right, now here's what you're going to do. You four girls, come over here. Uh, come, please give me a cutter and a defender, starting with a basketball here, and then an offensive player, just without a defense for the time being. So Rhiannon, you can be a, a spectator or cheerleader or supporter, all right? So here's what you're gonna do. A couple things are going on here. We're gonna play seal one-on-one, -on -one. all right? Now I, pro I, I might understand you know what a seal is don't you oh well i'm going to teach it to you like you don't know what it is amber so please don't be offended all right now face her like you're going to catch in a real basketball game now charlotte you're already in defense now amber you're just going to turn to her pass with your outside hand excellente but hold it with two hands all right throw it back outside hand pass whack catch look at the rim think shoot now you're going to look at the cutter now amber on this cut is going to try and face cut now, when I talk about a face cut and she's trying to get around Charlotte, which direction is that? Why is that? Yeah, because it's facing the ball and it's over the, yeah, over the defender, all right? Now, Charlotte, in this scenario, you're just gonna sag back, all right? Amber, you're gonna try and face cut over her and then you're gonna try and get a deep catch in the front of the rim to try and get a bucket and a back-to-back one-on-one against Charlotte. Let me see what you uh, figure out to do first. Ready, ball starts with Amber. Get set, action. Good, good, good. And beautiful, beautiful, fine. Now, I want you to have a go at that first and then I want to unpack the technique after that. You four girls, there. You four boys, there. You four boys, there. Ready, set. Rotate however you want. 
starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Pass, try and get a seal, good. A deep catch underneath the rim. A deep catch underneath the rim. Keep going, keep going. Throw it again, you can do it again. Throw it again, do it again. Go, do it again, do it again. Figure out how you're gonna get it. Catch right in front of the rim. So where do you need to take her? Good. Now, how, oh, that was a good idea. That was interesting. That was interesting. What did she do to you that made you do that? Ah, oh, you're like a little Einstein. Oh, well done, well done. And freeze, freeze. All right. And freeze, Anthony Davis. Hold it there. All right, now let's talk about seal technique. If Charlotte was defending me, please don't be too hard on me, Charlotte. If Charlotte was defending me, I pass to Rhiannon. Yeah, shoot it, look at the cutter. Here's what I'm going to do to get a, a deep catch. If she was soft on me, I'm just going to hit and sit on her. When I talk about hit, I don't mean punch her in the face. I just mean get my arms and bump her so I can feel what she's going to do. So I'm going to hit and then I can determine which direction I need to sit, whether I need to reverse pivot and sit in my stance. And as you can tell, I can feel with my back where she's going and I'll have my other arm just on her hip with my other arm giving a passing target, winking, winking to Rhiannon to pass it here. Excelente. Now, the other direction I could go is I could hit and then take the shortcut and lock my arm and my hips this way. Now when I seal, I need to lock two things, my hips and my hands. My hips lock the position, my hands lock the catch. So just go slow and do one at a time. So if I go at Charlotte, she's being very physical, I can reverse, hip lock, figure out my arm lock, her hand is over there so I might ask for the pass down low and then I'll have a three second shot clock. Try and block me, Charlotte. Three second shot clock to get my, oh damn it. Made me look so bad in front of all the athletes. All right, then a three second shot clock to get your shot off. All right, if you score, you stay on offense. Ready, set, go. Go hit, sit, hip lock, arm lock. Good girl. Oh my crikey, Amber. Are you Lauren Jackson or something, mate? Nice, nice bucket. If you score, you stay. If you score, you stay. Here we go. Five, four. Good, good. On your catch, just be one second more patient. So yep. that way you can feel what the defense is doing. Oh, oh. Nice, nice. Nice. What's your name? Sam. Sam? Well done, Sammy. Great job, mate. Good, good. Good. And next bucket wins. Next bucket wins. Five, four, nice Tara. Three, two, one. Freeze, freeze. Boys, girls, boys, come huddle in over here, please. <coughs> now this time, this time we're gonna do the opposite. So the pass is gonna come from here. You've got basketball, all right? Uh, Amber, you're on offense on the wing. What was your name again? Imogen, defend her, please. All right, now uh, you need to get a catch there, but Imogen is being annoying. What are you gonna do to get open? What's that called? Yeah, you are creating a seal but it's also called making a lead or, or doing a V-cut, all right? But your goal is to get a catch there without any pressure, all right? Uh, do that and then Rhiannon will pass it to you when you're open. 
and freeze. Coaches, that skill of teaching them to get open is still so valuable. But I'm going under the assumption that Amber already knows it, which she does. Now, we're playing wing one on one. You versus Imogen, five second shot clock, all right? I'm not gonna put a dribble limit on it, coaches. I'm just gonna put a shot clock limit because you don't really have a dribble limit in a game. You more have a time limit. Ready, set, go Amber. Five, four, three, two, rebound, one, and yeah. Now, uh, rotate accordingly. Let's have one more demo. Five, four, three, Ooh, ooh, ooh! Ah, interesting! Uh, boys and girls, what's that called? Aha, uh -huh. now you're learning to play basketball. It's lucky Imogen knew how to do this. Imogen, why, what did you do? Ex put it in words like you're talking to a third grader. Oh, um, because she was playing high. Mm -hmm. like kind of looking at the ball, I just went behind it. Oh, very clever. You are a little Einstein. <laughs> well done. All right. So just to show you, just to show you what she did, she identified that the passing lane was taken away because Amber was super aggressive. So aggressive, Amber. All right, so Imogen, take a step out because a good ID is not only is the uh, hand in the passing lane, but two feet outside the three-point line for the defender. If your player notices that, automatic backdoor, okay? Now, when you do a backdoor, fake a catch to make a catch. Yeah, show me that change of speed, ready? Yes, excellent. And freeze, go back. So here's your rule with your wing one-on-one. -on -one. You can make a lead to get open, then you're playing one-on-one -on -one right away. If you're denied, you can backdoor. If you score, you stay on offense. Ready, two rings. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, bad luck, Sam. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Pass from the top here. Pass from the top. So he gets a... Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. No need to be sorry. Oh, nice fake. Nice fake. Nice finish. When we do these one-on-one -on -one drills, I might do these one-on-one -on -one drills very early in the season because all I'm trying to do is build competency. Can people seal in case you have a mismatch in a game where you can seal someone down there? Can people play one-on-one -on -one from the perimeter so I can build competency? And the way I would mix this up, I'll put them in different positions. And freeze where you are, freeze, freeze. You're gonna play the exact same game, but this time you're gonna do it from the corner. The boys on those courts, uh, let's pretend the sideline's not there and play out of the corner. You boys play out of this corner. You boys play out of uh, that corner, all right? Now, corner one-on-one, -on -one, you're passing from the wing. Passing from the wing. Ready, set, go! From the, from the, uh, you boys, over here. So you were right, you were right. You're gonna pass from here. Mm -hmm. Ready, here we go. Good. Bad luck, Rhiannon. Good, Tara. Good, Tara. Good girl. Oh, bad luck. Bad luck on the finish, mate. Bad luck on the finish. Very creative of you, Sam. Very creative. But would that happen in a real game? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, no. Play on, play on, play on from the catch. One, four, three, two. Sam, out of bounds baseline. Out of bounds baseline. Rotate. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and freeze, freeze. All right, 
Uh, you four boys, come be my new demos. The girls have suffered enough. Uh, you four boys, come over here. You three girls over here. Now, this time, this time you need, now you need to play one-on-one -on -one off the cut. Uh, give me a passer here, please. Give me a passer here. And then give me two people underneath the rim, starting with a basketball. What's your name? Brendan. Brendan. And then Sam and? BJ. Sam and BJ. Uh, Sam, you're on offense, all right? BJ, you're on defense, all right? Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to pass to Brendan. Then you're going to tag any part of the three-point line with your foot, any part. Uh, BJ or TJ? BJ. BJ. BJ, you're going to follow him wherever that he goes on that three-point line and do the same thing, all right? What you're going to work on, you're going to work on playing one-on-one -on -one off a cut, all right? Once he tags the three-point line, you're passing him back, you've got to try to finish with a cutting defender behind you. Show me a demo. Anywhere on the three-point line. Anywhere, anywhere. Good, good. Finish off that. Good, Sammy. And freeze, all right? Uh, BJ, your turn. Brendan, just stay past for the sake of this demonstration. Ready? Oh, whoa, go. Good. Finish. Freeze. All right. You three boys stay here. Uh, the girls that just suffered through my bad jokes, you're down there. And then the other girls down there, you boys down here. Ready? We're starting in five, four, quickly. Three, two, one. Okay, okay. Are you okay, Mijin? You okay? All right. Oh, tough finish, bad luck, bad luck. All right, and freeze, freeze where you are, freeze. Now, cutting, cutting's a valuable skill. If you don't know how to cut, you can't play basketball because you just move yourself into another scoring opportunity and you move the defense, okay? Now let's just talk about detail. Brendan, be my passer, what's your name? Solomon. Solomon, can you come please stand over here for me? And then BJ, just defend him. Now on this cut, at the beginning, where did we say we want the cutter to be in relation to the defender? In front. In front, all right. So, uh, Solomon's gonna do a good job face cutting over the top of the defense, but, a couple things. How fast should the cutter go? Sorry? What's one word you can put very fast into? <laughs> very true. It rhymes with mint. Meat? Sprint. You've got to sprint your cut. You've got to sprint. I don't know, I don't know what rap songs you listen to, but it's messing up your hearing, all right? So, Solomon is going to sprint his cut. If you're cutting, this is non-negotiable, non-negotiable. Every cut you do, you sprint it. Why? What are you doing to the defense? You're creating separation and leaving them in your dust, correct. Number two, if Solomon's gonna sprint his cut, where is he going to go? Where on the basket? Let's be specific, huh? The front center of the basket, where, the, where that little hook is. So Solomon, when you cut, you're cutting here. I've seen random cuts. I've seen people go in this direction. Yeah, Brendan, Brendan, woo, Brendan. There's no ring here. Go towards ring and do it at a sprint, all right? I expect to see those two uh, aspects of cutting be better. Ready, set, go, one minute. 20 minutes. Good, better. 
Better Solomon, better Solomon. Oh wow, three baskets at three rings all in a row. Good Tara, good Tara. Oh, bad luck, good pass. Good, good. Oh, 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 Poppy. Woo, that was fire. Nice, Poppy. Here we go, here we go. Good, cut in front of your D. Good, good boy, good boy. 30 seconds. Oh, tough finish, Solomon. Here we go, here we go. Last rep, last rep. Now, once you get it back, once you get it back, throw it back to him for another passing cut. Because you're trying to play cut one on one. All right? Last rep, last rep, Solomon. Five, four, three, two, and freeze, freeze. Well done, well done. Uh, you four boys, over here please, girls, halfway. Now next, next, uh, learning to play with a teammate while you pass and cut, all right? Now, you're gonna do a little bit of a two on one. So one, two, three, start inside the charge circle for me, please. You can, uh, BJ, you can uh, just chew out it halfway. All right, now, the person with the ball is on defense and it's gonna be two on one. So Sam and Solomon versus Brendan. On go, you're the boss. You're gonna sprint out. Touch the three-point line. You two, you're gonna do the same. Show that, show me that, go. While you dribble, while you dribble. Then, then, you're gonna pass it to either of them and then you're gonna defend, all right? 2v1, but the catch, you're not allowed to dribble. Not allowed to dribble. Ready, start. Get set, go. No, no, you're, yeah, you gotta to dribble to start, yeah, yeah. No, so you dribble up. What do you? You're the defense. Well, you're the boss. Yes, correct. Oh, so they cheated. Oh, so wait. Well, 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 for, uh, dribble, dribble again, again, again. Quick, 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 quick. <coughs> Good, 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 uh-oh, uh-oh. And freeze. Now rotate, rotate, shooter goes D. Solomon, five, four, three, two, one, go. Good. Oh, nice interception. Uh, it's two on one, it's two on one. Try and get a pass and cutter on the perimeter. You girls, go, you girls, go, go. Uh, in fact, you four girls, stop. You four girls join these girls so you don't clash. Boys freeze, boys freeze, boys freeze. You four boys join these boys on the baseline so you don't crash. All right, here we go. Here we go, next three. How are you going to get open? How are you going to get open? Oh my lord. It's two on one, we haven't made a basket yet. Come on. Oh, Tara dribbled. Not allowed to dribble. Not allowed to dribble. Here we go, next three boys. Three, two. Pass and cut offense. And freeze. Freeze, freeze. Let's turn this into 2v2. Let's turn this into 2v2. So now, uh, the two defenders, can you get on the same color please? So someone with Sam, and then the other remaining teammates are of the same color. So one more white, one more white. Okay, yeah, yeah, on the edge of the charge circle. 
on the edge of the charge circle. So exact same setup, but it's two on two. But now the catch, offense, you've got to touch the sidelines. All right, you're going to touch the sidelines. You pass, defend, not allowed to dribble offense, try and create a bucket, 2v2 pass and cut. Ready, demo. And then next four in. Girls get set, go. They play two on two. No dribble, no dribble 2v2. Ready, set, go. Touch a sideline. Keep going, keep going. Next four, next four, here we go. The two defenders, they both have to touch the sideline? No, no, the two defenders just touch a three point line to defend. It's the offense that touches the sideline. Oh, okay, okay, I got yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, my mistake for misclarifying. Here we go. Defense, defense touches the three point line. Offense touches the sideline. Good. Now defend, defend. You gotta try and find a passing cut somewhere. Amber, Amber, you might as well just follow her. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, all right. Freeze, 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 freeze. Uh, let's turn it into threes. Turn it into threes, but then start your line up here, please. So three offense dark, three white defense. You're inside the perimeter. Yes, offense starts with a basketball. Now, girls, you're just going to do this. You can do this 3v3, can't you? Yep, 3v3. So this time, you're playing 3v3, no dribble. But if you score off a passing cut, you get three points. Everything else is just a normal one. A pass and cut. Ready, set, go! Space. Play on, play on. Girls, go. Cut towards the rim, Solomon. So that's one, that's one. Passing cuts are three. Sam, once you get in and you seal, try to get yourself back out. Ready, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good, good, good. Good, bad luck, bad luck, good idea. Let's go girls. Get set, go. Oh, nice back cut. Bad luck Imogen, good idea. Good idea. Ah, uh, no, rotate, that's a turnover. Five, four, three, two, go. Good, nice pass, nice cut, that's three points. Five, four, three. Turnover, dark ball, dark ball. Vivek. So the two on one, so what I was trying to do on the two on one, I was trying to get them to create a two on one pass and cut scenario on the perimeter, but it didn't turn out that way. They just turned around and started attacking the rim directly. So I changed it very quickly. And so, yeah, like if I was to do that again, I'd probably put the offense here, offense there. Uh, get the defense to throw it and then two on one, so they're forced to play two on one from the perimeter, but they just went directly to the rim. I didn't want to create a transo opportunity, I wanted to create a pass and cut opportunity. All right, so good question, coach, because I noticed it and it wasn't going in the direction I wanted it, so I flipped it. Bad luck, bad luck. Oh, great back card. Well done, Amber. Oh, and freeze, freeze. All right.
Now, uh, what I'm going to show you next is bringing this back together into five on five. All right, in a five on five. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, with this five on five, uh, can I, we're gonna, let's just do it boys versus girls, all right? Boys, can you get on the baseline for me, please? Girls, can you start on the baseline here? So now, coaches, I've broken down some parts. I've gone one on one, I've gone two on two, I've gone three on three, and now I would go back to fives if I got later on in the season. Now, when I go back to fives, I, it's about uh, situational and scenario coaching. So the way I would do this, I'm looking for perfection. Girls, get off the wall. Boys, get off the wall. Concentrate. Every time we cut, we're sprinting. So the first five girls, you're going to go down, five passes, pass and cut on air, and then you're going to come back this way. But as you come back this way, there's going to be five boys waiting for you playing defense. Okay? First five girls, ready? Inbound. We're going transition offense that way. Ready, go. Next five boys, next five boys, meet them at halfway. Good, five passes, pass and cut. Looking at the rim. Rim, good. How many is that? Excellent, good Charlotte. And now the boys are gonna meet you. And we're playing for real, we're playing for real. Five, four, Three and freeze. So in this little part down here, when we play five and five, we're looking for offensive execution, all right? So are the girls sprinting to the front of the rim? Are they getting to the front of the rim? Are they looking specifically where I need them to look? Rim, cutter, next teammate, move it on and dribble it if there's none of those options. Boys, can you come over here, please? Girls, you're gonna defend them on the way back. Boys, over here. All right, next time you run it, you're going 5 and 0, five passes, and then on the way back, what's your name again? Lockie. You're going to try and set up Lockie for a pass and cut and seal and throw it into him, one on one underneath the rim. All right? Just attacking a mismatch. Cut off the seal. Hmm? Cut off your seal. No. He's, oh, he's going to pass it, he's going to cut, and then he's going to seal. Oh. And then you're going to look to throw it into him. Yeah. Okay? That's but that's not a bad idea, cutting off the seal as well. Oh, no, I want him to go. Yeah. All right? Ready, get set, go! Here we go, five passes, five passes! Rim, front of the rim! Eyes. Good, space BJ. Here we go, girls, defend. Bad luck, bad luck. Hey, nice try, but exactly. We wanted you to we wanted you to pass it outside the perimeter first, cut and then get the seal, rather than seal first, yeah? Girls, over here, quick. Coaches, well, I'm going, th I'm taking them through little scenarios and I'm trying, to, I'm trying to pick on the opposing team's weaknesses, all right? Now, girls, you're gonna try and Score a back door against the boys, oh, yeah. okay, on the way back, all right? So, uh, who are we going to get to back door? Let's go Rhiannon on the back door, all right? But as we come down the floor, sell your catch outside the three-point line and then bait the boys. Yeah, come outside the three-point line, all right? And then fake, but the defender that's there, you're going to have to give her plenty of space, including the girls here, all right? Yeah, fake, fake pass her. Yeah, go, yeah. Push, go. <laughs> yes, exactly like that. And you have to say Wishka. All right, on the baseline. Here we go. Five, four. Get set. Quickly. Three, two, one, go. Good, good.
Go find a bucket. Now, in this five-out offense as well, you can mix up your reads. So you can go pass one way, screen away the other. Or you could pass one way and then set a staggered away the other way. And you can even set on balls. Excellent. Oh, right idea. Right idea. But, Poppy, did you remember who you were looking for? Yes. Oh, bad luck. Bad luck. Bad luck. All right. Uh, girls, girls, center circle, boys, center circle. Uh, only five of you. Only five of you. Sam, basketball, please. All right. Uh, coaches, here's another execution five on five where you can reward the offense. All right. And I, I've got to credit coach uh, Renee Garlop for this because I watched this at a state training and I thought it was a great idea and I, and I permanently borrowed it. All right. So we're going to go jump ball five on five. All right, you're playing a five on five, uh, five out pass and cut uh, basketball game. But if you score, you get to get the ball back. All right, jump ball, ready? Sorry? Uh, we're gonna use a, uh, a seven. Ready? Get set, go! And freeze! Boys, your ball up, back at the top. Girls defend, five, four, Three, this is called 5v5 score and reward. Ready, set, go. Defend girls, defend girls, pass and cut. Oh, boys, get it back again, quick. Five, four, get a stop, girls, let's go. You got this, you got this. And... Oh, freeze! Missed! Go, girls! Go, girls! Oh, no! Oh! Travel, Solomon! Girls, ball, quick! Five, four, three! Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well done, Amber! Space, girls! Keep going! Get open, Tupra. Cut, Imogen. Keep going, keep going. Cut, Ree. Good girl. Keep going. Nice, Amber. Oh, so close. Good girl, Amber. Keep going. And freeze, freeze. The tension is building. The tension is building. So. In this five and five, we can let it go for a couple minutes before we provide feedback. And then once a team scores, they just get the ball back. And then they keep getting reps. Now, if you had other sets in your offense and other things, and you wanted to work on particular looks, you could give it back to the offense and say, do something different. And then that just forces them to think and do something different, all right? 